In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate how you can easily define the Z level in which the drill is going to retract to in between each hole while performing a drilling operation. Now, in the next two examples, I'm going to be using can cycles, and I'm also going to demonstrate how to properly use G98 and G99. Now, to begin with, let's drill these six holes. All right, so hit the space bar twice to go to a top view. Let's head over to the command manager, go into our stock tool paths. Let's use drill single for this, and I'm going to use arc center to define the location for the drills. So I'm going to just left hand mouse click the center of all six of these holes. When we're done, we're going to right hand mouse click, select finish. That looks good. And so for this drilling operation, we're going to be using a quarter inch diameter drill. That looks great. We have it in turret position number one. I'm happy with the speeds and feeds on that. So let's click next. Now for our clearance and depths, the very first thing you want to take a look at is the material Z top. What is that? Well, in this example, it's the very top of the holes. And right here, the material Z top is going to be minus 625 thousandths. All right, the final Z depth, that's an absolute value. That's simply just how far the drill is going to drill down. And I have minus one inch on that. Now the plunge clearance plane, that is actually incremental from your material Z top. And I have 50 thousandths there. What is this level? Well, it's actually the Z level in which the drill is going to start feeding down. Okay, think of it that way. The rapid Z plane, that's the very first Z level that the drill is going to wrap it to before the actual can cycle, before the drill cycle. Down here I have machine cycle selected. That's because I want to use a can cycle. We'll click next on that. And I'm going to use G81 for this. Okay, so now we have our retract mode. Let's talk about G98 and G99, what these mean. Well, if I were to use G99, that's going to tell your control to wrap it to this level right here, this plunge clearance in between each hole. That's the most efficient way to go. We don't want the drill to wrap it up above the part to here, 200 thousandths in between each hole. We want the drill to wrap it to that location in between each hole. So if we want your control to wrap it to the plunge clearance for each hole, make sure that you have G99 specified for that. So let's click finish. All right, now for the next example, we're gonna drill these four corner holes. Now for these four corner holes, we want the drill to definitely wrap it up above the part as it moves between each hole. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit different. In this example, we're gonna be using G98. So let's head back over to the command manager. Let's go into our drill single. Again, we'll use arc center. Just gonna take my cursor, left hand mouse click, the very center of each hole that I'd like to drill. Right hand mouse click, hit finish on that. That looks very good. We're gonna use the exact same parameters we did before, quarter inch diameter drill, speeds and feeds look great. We'll click next. Actually, all this information is the same as well. The top of the hole, the material Z top, is also minus 625 thousandths for all four of those corner holes. All this looks great on there. But in this example, we want the drill to wrap it up to that value right there, to the rapid Z plane. So we'll click next and make sure that for this cycle, we're gonna be using G98. Now, if you select none, that means that one CNC is not gonna output a G98 or a G99. And in that case, it's up to whatever your control has for a default as for the Z level. All right, so and that's not really the way to go. You want to make sure you understand your control and you choose the proper uh, G value here. All right, so we're going to use G98 for that. We'll click Finish, and there we go. Now, before we wrap this video up, let's quickly create a CNC program. Let's go to Post Group. That looks great. We'll use a Haas Post Processor for this. We'll click Post on that. I'm just going to overwrite the CNC program that I already have. That looks great. So here we go. Here's the first six holes. Now you can see that the drill rapids to 200 thousandths above the part. And then here's our G81 can cycle. And because we're using G99, your control is going to take the drill and wrap it to that location in between each hole. Very, very good. Now in the last four holes, again, the drill rapids to 200 thousandths above the part. Here's our G81 can cycle. But now we're using G98. And what that means is in between each hole, your control is going to wrap the drill up to 200 thousandths. Okay, so that's how you can properly use G98 and G99 using can cycles within one CNC. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.